guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Hannah and it is beautiful to meet you. So if you are new here, this is what I call the Hot Mess Crew, so make sure that you subscribe down below to make sure you never miss a Hot Mess Crew video because I post every Saturday and Wednesdays and every once in a while Sundays, but not recently because I haven't been making very many gaming videos, but... I don't know, if you guys are interested in seeing more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Okay guys, so today I'm doing a video that was inspired by Shane Dawson's most recent conspiracy video because it sparked the remembrance of a story that I could tell you guys, and I haven't done a story time here in like a couple months. It's been a good minute. It's been a hot minute, so I wanted to do one for you guys. And this story time is how I almost died at a water park. True story. By the way, thank you guys because we're almost at 2,000, which is crazy! So we'll be there soon. I'm so excited! So this happened to me about when I was, I'd say like somewhere between 10 to 12. And I was with my dad and I've told you guys this before, my mom and dad had been divorced since I was really young. And every summer I'd go down to Alabama to visit my dad. So there were five kids and two parents. So there were a total of seven of us. And my dad and stepmom would always take us on summer vacations. So like one year we went to Disney World and the other year we went to Dolphin Island, which is in Alabama. And we went to like Gulf Shores and Panama City. And like we would always go somewhere like the beach or something. So this particular year we went to Florida. And we went to, I think... We were going to, I forget if that's the year that we did Disney and Wet n Wild, or if we just did Wet n Wild and the beach. I can't remember. But yeah, so I went to the water park called Wet n Wild, and this isn't like hating on Wet n Wild or anything, so if you're like with the company Wet n Wild, like I'm not hating on you, like it's a good water park, and no doubt, it's just that I had something kind of scary happening to me there. So, yeah, I still would recommend water, Wet n Wild to anyone, it's just my situation because I was dumb and little. So yeah. Again, I was like anywhere between the ages of 10 to 12 and we were at Wet n Wild and we were going on all the water rides and I'm, I've always not been the biggest fan of water parks. Just never been a huge fan. I was always kind of scared of the slides. Like the one that is just like a straight drop, my sister and dad would go on and like my stepbrother would too, but like I would refuse to go on it and I would just stand at the bottom and wait. Like basically the way that I work at water parks is I just like the lazy river and the wave pool. That's it. Like slides, I like the big ones where like your whole family can fit on like a big thing. But like I don't like water slides where you're like, let's go. Like I don't like those. So, okay. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the like the toilet bowl water slide. I don't think it was called the toilet bowl. It was probably called something like tornado or hurricane, I think. Okay, quick side note. Here is the picture of the beautiful little storm thing. It was actually called Storm, not Hurricane, but I was close. And this is the actual picture from the Wet n Wild website. Um, so yeah, no copyright or anything. It's their picture. And yeah, so this is what the ride looked like, just because I know you guys probably want to see what it looked like. So this is the actual ride that this happened to me at. So yeah, back to the video. But it's basically the slide where you do like a normal slide. It's like a spinny, like, you know, it, they're all designed differently. So this particular one, I think it like you went down and then you did a couple of like slides like that and then you eventually get shot out into what looks like a toilet bowl situation and the way that the toilet bowl thing works it's like this big like I don't want to say it's it's like this big dome if I can find a picture of one I'll insert it but so you come out into the dome and then you spin like like basically like you're going down a toilet like in the dome until you go to the bottom there's like a little hole that you drop out of so most people, what happens is they go down the slide and then they spin around. And it's always cool when you first get into that dome thing because, like, it's been dark and you're, it's like everything's, like, super bright. And then you just see yourself, like, because it's huge. And so you're going around this huge thing and, you, and it's fun. Like, it's not, like, a scary kind of thing. Like, it's a very fun thing and you just know you're going to hit the bottom eventually. So for me, though, being 10 or 12, already afraid of, you know, water rides, I was scared. So my dad went down before me thank god he did and then I went down after him so he went down first when he was done they told me to go so I go in the slide and I do the whole let's go kind of thing so you know because they tell you to do this but I was always like to like I'd cover my nose pro tip if you go to water parks and you don't do that but so I did that and then I went down the slide and then I got into the toilet bowl section and the way that this water park is set up if I'm remembering correctly there's toilet bowl here and toilet bowl here so there's two slides at the same time and which was another cool thing because like when you were in the toilet bowl you could see someone else get shoot shot into the toilet bowl which is kind of funny but side note I just like remember that randomly but so I'm in the toilet bowl thing 
and I'm going around, and then I don't know what happened, but like you're supposed to be in it for like a hot minute. Like it's not like a two second thing, because you know you have to make your way all around this dome. But something happened where I don't know if my foot hit something or what, but it stopped me, and so I wasn't spinning around in the bowl anymore. I started somersaulting down it. So instead of like wee, I came out, went in. Something happened like here, and then instead of continuing, I started, you know, flipping like this down. <clears throat> now keep in mind, 10 to 12, I'm already not a super strong swimmer. I quit swimming lessons because I didn't like them. Like I swim like this, not, you know, the correct way. And so what happens is you're supposed to fall in feet first. Well, because I was tumbling, I fell in head first. So it, you're already disoriented because you're falling into a thing of water and I fell in head first like, like, oh my god, what's happening? So I fall in and all the water comes shooting out too because there's water in the toilet bowl because that's what makes you like spin. So I fall through the waterfall of water head first into the hole and there's a pool below you. Now what happened was I fell down, I hit the water and it took me a hot minute to like figure out which way was up and down but I figured it out and I came up for air and I came up for air right underneath that hole and the water was coming all down like a waterfall so it was underneath this waterfall of water and you know, I was 10 or 12 I like couldn't swim unless I had my nose plugged so I had breathed in water through my nose and then I was coughing and like I had that burning sensation and this water was pouring down so I couldn't open my eyes to see anything it was basically just a really bad situation it was to the point where like do you know how when you're in a water park and something happens and they blow their whistles to let you know that like like they do like the whistle thing so that no one comes down like the lifeguard was blowing his whistle so no one would come down because obviously like someone would land on me and but the worst part and the reason why I like almost drowned was because I couldn't find my way out and I was, couldn't breathe because of all the water and this lifeguard <laughs> again this is not me hating on wet and wild there was a specific person he had his like um red lifeguard stick thing floaty thing and instead of like coming in the water to help me he was hitting me with it like poking me like it, like poking me and like I couldn't grab onto it so my dad had to dive in and come and get me so which is like thank god he was there because his lifeguard was like just like you know what go drown it's fine you know it's not my job to save you to guard your life no so you just you stay there and I'll just I'll blow my whistle but yeah so that was the time that I kind of almost died at a water park. And you're probably like, that was not very climactic. But it was really, really scary. And I refuse to go to water parks now because of it. Because I already really didn't like them. But now I really, really don't like them. Because that was really, really scary. Especially when you're like 10 to 12 and like you can't breathe and you don't know if anyone's going to help you. And like I said, it's a good thing my dad went down before me because he was able to help me. So, yeah, that was very fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story time with me. I know it was a short one. I have another one coming out soon. It's going to be a paranormal story. And it's actually a story that my ex-stepdad told me that happened to him. So I have a couple other stories that I want to tell you too. But this one was like the scariest paranormal and I want to start with that. So hopefully you guys don't mind that it's not like my story. I know a lot of people don't care because like a scary story is like a scary story. So Hopefully you don't care. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you oh so much. And make sure to check out my next video and my last video. Check out all of the videos. And give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Because I love you. Alright guys, I love you and have a great weekend.